Hey guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. In this video, I will be giving you a quick overview how authentication with JWT works. For this case, I found a nice graphic here and you see our front end on the left side and on the right side, you see our server. And usually you make a sign in request from the front end with your username or your email and your password. Then the server checks whether the password from the database matches the password from the user input. And if so, it creates tokens, usually a access token and a refresh token. And it does so by using a secret, which is only known to the server. Then on the front end, we usually can take these two tokens and store them in local storage. And then whenever we want to access a protected route to get back some data or to update some data, we usually pull the access token from the local storage and attach it to the header so that the server then can extract the token from the header and it can try to verify it. It checks whether the signature of the token is valid and it also does so by using the secret again. And it also, sh and it also can check whether the token has been expired. And if so, it throws an error here and we get back a response with a 401 and a token expired message. What happens now happens kind of automatically here. And why this happens automatically, you will see in a bit when I show you some piece of code. Somehow, when we get back this 401 response, we make another post request to a refresh token route. And we get back two newly created tokens, an access token and a refresh token. And again, we can store this token um, in local storage of our browser and then we can pull them off from there and we can make requests to protected routes again by taking the access token and attach it to the header and so on. And how this happens automatically, I will show you now. We have some code here and here you see that they use interceptors. So what we can do here is before the request is made, we can pull the token from the local storage. We pull the access token. And then if we have a token, then we attach it to the header. And now we are able to make requests to protected routes, for example, and we are able to get back some data. But what happens now if the token has been expired? Then we can check in the response if we get back a 401 and also we can check whether we have retried already and if we have not retried then we set the retry flag to true and we do this to avoid an infinite loop in case um, this here fails somehow and we do not get back a valid access token which has not been expired right so this is just to avoid an infinite loop. And yeah, basically if we pass this if statement, then we try to get a refresh token by hitting this route here. And if we pass this if statement, then we try to make a post request to this route here. And we provide our refresh token that we pull off from our local storage in the browser. And yeah, hopefully we get back from this route a valid access token, which has not been expired. Then we take this access token and we store it again in our local storage of the browser. And now we are able to make requests to protected routes as long as this token has not been expired. Yeah, that's basically it, guys. That's the logic behind JWT. Yeah, and in the next video, we will try to implement a basic sign up functionality. And yeah, whenever we sign up a user, um, a refresh token and an access token, 
will be created. The refresh token will be stored in the database. And then every time we sign in, then also this refresh token will be updated. Or of course, every time we hit the refresh token road, also this refresh token will be updated. And by doing so, we will be able to expand the lifespan of the refresh token, you could say. So we will not have to um, log in again, right? This is pretty cool. And usually the refresh token has a long expiry date of seven days or something like this, whereas the access token yeah, is very short lived. That's it guys. This was a quick overview. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we will start coding.